Now to a story that is getting national attention since a local couple filed a lawsuit against the popular Snapchat app in connection with a violent crash. A passenger who was inside a car is telling only Channel 2 Action News what she saw. So well, I'm just going to um, hit 100 and then I'm going to slow down. Channel 2's investigative reporter Jody Fleischer has been digging into this case long before the lawsuit was filed. She's here with new details we have not yet heard. Jody? Jovita, we not only talked with the lawyers and the family that's suing Snapchat, but we found two of the passengers from the car that teenager was driving. They both told me she was using the Snapchat app and going over 100 miles an hour. And they were both stunned to learn there isn't so much as a speeding ticket seven months after the crash. When I closed my eyes, I just prayed. I really thought I was not going to wake up. Heather McCarty says her coworker, Crystal McGee, was giving her a ride home from work when she noticed the teenage driver had her phone in her hand and they were starting to go faster. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? Slow down. You know, I'm pregnant. You've got other people in the car. And um, she said, well, I'm just going to um, hit 100 and then I'm going to slow down. Heather says she and another passenger, Kaylin Henderson, both saw their friend with the Snapchat app open on her phone and the speedometer filter in use. And I just remember screaming, there's a car, and um, I know we hit the back of his vehicle, and I don't remember anything after that. Wentworth Maynard was driving that other vehicle. He spent weeks in a coma, months in the hospital, and now has a permanent brain injury. His attorneys hired a crash reconstruction expert who found McGee was driving 107 miles an hour on impact. They also uncovered this snap she posted minutes after the crash, bleeding, saying lucky to be alive. And yeah, there will be some more follow up on. The Lovejoy police chief admitted his officer should have interviewed the witnesses beyond the one paragraph statements they wrote at the hospital. He'd never seen the driver's picture or the Snapchat speed filter until we showed it to him. That's amazing. I mean, it's something new to me. We've been unable to reach the driver, Crystal McGee, and Snapchat did not return our request for comment. But the app does warn drivers not to snap and drive the first time it's used. There is so much more to this story you haven't heard yet, and we're working on putting that together for you. We'll be back Monday at 5 with our full investigation. Justin? All right, Jody.